it's the Australian zebra finch. The zebra finch is by far and away the bird that's been most studied in captivity and has probably contributed to a, a greater diversity of areas in biology than any other bird at all. The zebra finch has had a meteoric rise to scientific stardom. Zebra finches were exported from Australia almost from the point of colonisation by Europeans. These little guys are so good at breeding that even a scientist can look after them. So this is a perfect example. I just put these, these sticks in here just a couple of days ago and some straw in yesterday and they've laid their first egg. The zebra finch lives in the Australian outback. With water and food being scarce, they make the best of the situation when the rains come. Dun, 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 dun. Breeding quickly and developing fast when the conditions are right. They're a pretty loyal bird, generally only finding a new mate if their partner falls off the perch. Couples look after the chicks together, collect food together, and pretty much spend every hour of the day together. Zebra finches are a really good model for actually understanding things about our own mating system. We can do experiments to understand how social monogamy works in a bird, which actually tell us something about our own pair bond and our own reproductive behaviour. The zebra finch will hone its use of language over the first 60 days of its life. That provides a really good model system for understanding how language can be learnt, although it's not exactly the same as the kind of language that we see in humans, it's one of the best animal models for the acquisition of language. They've actually been able to identify a number of areas in the brain which are specifically involved in the production of songs. And that is really the, well, it is the nerve centre for the production of song. And individuals with very large vocal centres produce more complex songs. It's great to have a voice when you're constantly under threat. But it's the songs that these beautiful birds trill to each other that pushes them to super science status. To date, just two bird species have had their genome fully sequenced. The first of those is the domestic hen. The zebra finch is the first wild bird to have its genome sequenced. Researchers have recently stumbled on a gene that may be important in breeding behaviour. In humans and zebra finches, the ratio between your second and fourth digit um, is very strongly related to the level of testosterone that you're exposed to during your development. And that will end up explaining why some males are much better at reproducing than others or why females might prefer some than others, simply because of this gene, which affects the length of the second and the fourth digit in their feet, but more importantly, it's related to testosterone, which affects pretty much everything about the way an animal behaves. Around the world, the zebra finch has been the focus of around about 800 papers, and it's also been the focus of 30 papers in Nature and Science, which are the top leading journals for biology. So it really has had a tremendous impact across a whole variety of fields. It's for these insights that the humble zebra finch deserves a profile as a great Aussie scientist.